पूर्व मैसूरू एक्सप्रेस वे पर होने वाले एक्सीडेंट में बढ़ोतरी हुई दुर्घटना के साथ ही मरने वालों की संख्या में भी लगातार इजाफा हो रहा है इसका उद्घाटन इस साल मार्च की शुरुआत में पीएम मोदी द्वारा किया गया था इस हाईवे पर होने वाले हादसों को अब कम करने के लिए केंद्रीय राजमार्ग प्राधिकरण ने कठोर कदम उठाने का फैसला किया है भारतीय राष्ट्रीय राजमार्ग प्राधिकरण ने 1 अगस्त से एक्सप्रेस वे पर दो पहिया ऑटो ट्रैक्टर गैर मोटर चालित वाहन मल्टी एक्सल हाइड्रोलिक ट्रेलर वाहन और कई चीजों पर पाबंदी लगाई है We've seen the number of accidents that have taken place on the Bengaluru Mysuru Expressway ever since it was inaugurated. Of course, you know, initially, while we saw that there was quite a lot of hue and cry over the, uh, you know, uh, expressway being inaugurated without it being completed. Later, we saw how, you know, with just one spell of rains, the entire expressway, in fact, you know, had started to get waterlogged and flooded. People were finding it extremely hard to commute. And eventually, we saw the rise in the number of accidents that were taking place on the expressway merely because of, you know, the speed at which vehicles used to travel. Now, keeping this in mind, we're seeing, of course, a lot of curbs being put in over here on the Bengaluru Mysuru Expressway as far as, you know, vehicular movement is concerned. Understandably so, of course, you know, people aren't too happy with this, is what we're picking up. However, uh, we'll really have to wait till the alternate routes, of course, are put out. Remember that, you know, this was an expressway that was envisioned with the idea of cutting down the travel time from Bengaluru to Mysuru, you know, just to about less than two hours. And now, with, you know, so many categories of people not being allowed to really, you know, of course, uh, take their vehicles on to this, we'll really have to wait and see whether these drastic measures that have been put in help to reduce the number of accidents on the expressway.